What is up, YouTube? This is a video review of the Pokemon Center New York Game Boy Advance. This was released back when the Pokemon Center had its grand opening, and this was the exclusive console only to New York, at least until it was re-released in Japan, but whatever, it's a really cool thing. I'm a proud New Yorker myself, so this is something obviously really, really cool to have. As you can see, it's a very handsome looking system, minus all the scuffs from all the years it's gone through, but it's a gold Game Boy. It's not something you see every day. So, what's different about this from your ordinary Game Boy Advance? Well, the hardware is the same. Your basic 32-bit Game Boy Advance. It's got a just a normal LCD screen. No backlight, no front light, no light. It's just the screen. So, you've got your four directional D-pad, your A and B buttons, start and select, they're all very responsive, you've got your Nintendo brand molded onto the shell, you've got your Pokemon name there, logo, which makes this one really cool, your Pokemon Center New York, little stamp there, and Pichu and Pikachu. So, yeah, silhouettes there. Game Boy Advance in gold. And this is all part of the, uh, you know, the plastic, the, uh, the screen. So, um, if you try to replace the screen, you'd be losing all these. So, that, just to point out there. I've got a mono speaker. On the bottom, you've got your on and off switch, headphone jack, volume uh, dialer, rocker, slider, whatever. On the corner here, you've got a spot for a lanyard or some sort. There's a little Pikachu thing I got in the Anime Con a couple months ago. On the back here, you've got your battery cover. This is not the original. This is just a uh, Intec replacement cover that I have. If you remember Intec, they made a lot of crazy stuff for Game Boy. This takes two AA batteries. You've got your barcode, Game Boy Advance, model number AGB001. Not AGS, if you... Uh, you're just thinking about you know the SP here. So yeah, made in China. And there you go. So on the top here, you've got your L and R buttons. Got your um, link cable and little ports here for accessories and right here is where you put your games this console is fully backwards compatible with all Game Boy, Game Boy Color games and accessories and of course Game Boy Advance games and accessories so what's special about it besides you know all this well nothing else first off there are cons to this system um, but first I will go over the pros pros are um, it's got very responsive buttons d-pad is flawless AB buttons are good start and select buttons as well L and R buttons are very good especially for handheld sometimes I forget that I'm playing a Game Boy, it sometimes feels like I'm playing on a PSP just because of the horizontal design, the placement of everything. 
takes in all sorts of uh, games and accessories. So, since this is a Pokemon Edition Game Boy, what the heck? And now, uh, of course. There we go. So, of course, this is a big con, and that's the screen. Now, it's very hard to see anything on the screen, really. It's, uh... Oh, man. Only 90s kids will remember this. Uh, it's like, even, even if you do have a light source, you'll always have that glare that just messes up the entire fun and just being able to see the screen. But, uh, let's see. I mean, it is a clear screen. The only problem is that there's no front light or back light, so it's very difficult to see what's going on. However, this is still a very fun system to play on. Yes, I know my Pokemon are not that good. But, um, I do like it. This system is very good for anyone who's collecting. Or if you just like original Game Boys, whatever. It's still a very, very good system. Now... Just to show you, it does play Game Boy Color games as well. This is Pokemon Pinball. And uh, so, obviously, a, a huge pro is that it's backwards compatible. Now, um, another pro is how well is, you, know, you can use backwards compatibility. So, what you can do is that since the Game Boy did not have L and R buttons, what you can do is... Press the L button to play in widescreen, or play in, uh, you know, normal. So, let me just turn that off. Just to show you a little bit of it. Note, some games do not look that good in, uh, widescreen. But, uh, you get the gist of it. There's nothing uh, really special in terms of hardware. It's just a normal Game Boy Advance. However, for collectors, this is still a very, very good system. Um, it's kind of rare. Um, it's certainly pricey, although there are there will be times where you can find this for an exception, exceptional cheap price. Excuse me. And I do highly recommend it. I... It's a very good system. Um, story of this, well, if you want to know why it's all screwed up, you know, all the scuffs and everything. First off, a friend of mine bought it with Pokemon Ruby. I have it right here, actually. He's got he got this console with Pokemon Ruby for like ten dollars at a thrift shop, and a couple years later, you know. When I was into Pokemon and Game Boy, he told me, you know, hey, I have this Game Boy, you want it? I was like, yeah, sure, heck yeah. Holy shit, this is so, this is really cool. And yeah, so, that's the story of how he got this, but, um, it was not in good hands. Don't know if he did this, or the original owner did this. Don't know who did this, but I do know that it's in safe hands, because I'm not the, I'm not someone that can destroy electronics or just really cool things this is something that I care about it's something that I will both play and uh, take care of just forget about me just accidentally dropping it a few seconds ago um, does this stand the test of time quality yes this is from 2001 and 
with all these scratches and scuffs, it still works very well. A very well built console. However, this is not attractive to uh, most people in terms of its screen. There's no light, backlight, front light, whatever. You know, I mean, if you are a, uh, a, a 90s kid, you will probably remember worm lights that, you know, use the link port there. But um, besides that, your only real light source were, you know, just the sunlight or lamps. Now, uh, the final verdict, do I recommend this? Yes. If you're a collector, yes. If you're a Pokemon fan, yes. If you're a Game Boy collector or you just like Game Boy, yes. If you're trying to get into Game Boy or uh, retro handhelds, probably not. You, you're not going to like the screen. You're going to have a hard time seeing anything on screen really like. To be honest, if you want to get into like Game Boy or handheld gaming, just uh, just get an SP. Get a Game Boy SP. Get a 3DS. You know, 3DS is a fucking amazing. Or um, get a DS. Really, just excuse my language a few seconds ago, but but that is it for the. Game Boy Advance, Pokemon Center, New York Edition, or whatever the name is for the system, really. Um, and as always, have a good one.